this is me when I'm alone and this is me when I open my tab of Pornhub <laughs> Hey what's up guys and today we're gonna check out websites that we shouldn't visit Last uh, video I uh, google search things that we, we shouldn't google And today we're gonna visit websites we should not visit Basically it's the same thing I have no idea where I'm going with this Let's go get traumatized a little bit more So we're gonna check out 5 of them And the first one it's called I have no idea I have no inf information for, for these ones I'm just going for it. Rapla Natus, Satan's Helper, something like that. Turn on my safety. I don't wanna enter these websites and get murdered. It's only gonna count if I can actually assess the website. If I cannot, well, it doesn't count as one of the five. Okay, I think I was spelling it wrong. Okay, yes. So let's see how scary is this, this website. There is something's gonna happen. Can I do something here? Oh, wait. Uh, it appeared six candles now. Okay, what now? Okay. This is not a game. Play with me. This looks like a website that I will do with 12 years old. It's just a few font and a few disturbing images. I mean, not really disturbing. So yeah, okay. There's someone hanging, but that's it. Play with me? Yes. I will play with you. So I'm gonna play with this girl or not? This is taking a long time. Well, I'm about to say no or yes. So, Repless Natus is like a website which you can only assess during midnight. I mean, right now, if you just assess during any other hour of the day, you just see some candles burning and that's it. But if you assess the website during midnight, you can like put the name of a person you, who you want to curse or kill probably, or you want to take revenge of. You, you put the name of that person, but this girl is going to appear in a nightmare for the rest of her life or something like that. Basically, it was a little girl and she was born after three or four previous miscarriages. But her name backwards is spelled Satan's Helper. So basically, it is not true. Of course, no one is going to name their child after they had three or four miscarriages. Rapless Natus, which is Satan's Helper. Doesn't make sense. So I call it fake. Yes. So the next website we're going to face is called Blind... Maiden, I actually Google searched this one and we sh really shouldn't say it. Uh, it's not available. This domain may be for sale. Oh, god damn it, it's not available. Jesus Christ, really? You will likely find a dead link, but if rumors are true, there's a slight chance you might actually be able to assess the site after all. The thing is, after I explain the story behind it, you'll probably want to avoid it at all costs. The origins of the Blind Maiden site have long since been obscured over years of rumor and conjecture. It begins with the description of a cryptic cutaway page promising users to ultimate horror. Uh, there's a particular trick to assessing the site, your web browser at any time other than the stroke of midnight. Of course, it had to be at, at midnight. It's all at midnight. You will likely discover the domain disabled. But that's a catch. Not only must it be assessed at precisely 12 am but the user must be alone in their own home while doing so, so all the lights in their home must be out. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because the spirit will know that I'm alone, alone at home. In my home. Oh, yeah, oh shit. As I mentioned earlier, you should be grateful for this, as it tends to scratch all but the suicidally curious. I'm suicidally curious, I wanna see it. Although it's impossible for me to be to be home alone, so whatever. Uh, the site will first present a rapidly changing montage of images, all of which depict young children their faces contorted in screams of absolute terror, and, and every one of them has been violently blinded, with ragged and bloody holes where their eyes should be. You will then be presented with the following on-screen text. This website will take you to a whole new level of horror. A horror that will use all five of your senses. I have six of them. You must be very careful not to click on anything by accident. You will be faced with a real experience of absolute horror. Click the accept button to engage actively in the experience. Yeah, because I do want to die. So yeah, we cannot go, oh, god damn it. I want to go on this website. I don't want this urban legends website. Yeah, this Website only opens at midnight, yeah. Good for me, yeah. The next website we're gonna check is, is called Dead Man Switch. Uh, this one I have some information. Why? Bad things happen, sometimes they happen to you. If something does happen, you might wish there was something you had told the people around you. 
Not really, I'm really, really alone in this world. How? This is how it works. You write a few emails and choose the recipients. These emails are stored privately until they're sent. Your switch will email you every so often, asking you to show that you are fine by clicking a link. If something were to happen to you, your switch will then send the emails you wrote to the recipients you specified. Sort of an electric wheel, one could say. That is cool if, if you think that someone is actually uh, going after you. If you think you're gonna get murdered someone, you can just write, yeah. M maybe I died because someone killed me, you know, that person killed me. That would be conspiracy, you know, that would be cool. The emails are sent at certain uh, intervals. By default, the switch will email you 30, 45 and 52 days after you last showed signs of life. How much right now you can add up to two emails with up to two recipients each. But, but nothing, that's it, nothing to do it, you can get started right now. Just register uh, register using the following link. Build my switch. No, thank you. Uh, pricing. You pay 20 bucks for a whole lifetime. And you can you can have up to 100 messages. So, so you can just send 100, uh, 100 messages for 100 people if you want. Okay. I'm not gonna buy this. If you guys want, I can just... For the geeks of it, I will just write some uh, funny e emails uh, for someone. But I don't know how could this be enjoyable for you to see. Uh, either way, let's go to the next one. So the next website we're gonna check is White Enamel. It's basically a mental asylum which you can like navigate and explore. It's said to be cursed. It should be quite, quite scary, I guess. But let's see if I can get scared if I... I don't know if someone is watching me in my webcam, my guys, please don't murder me. I live with other people in my house, so, you know, quite, quite scary that, isn't it? So here we go. Someone is injecting us with a syringe and here we go. Isn't this like an abandoned mental asylum or something? Part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4, part 5, part 7. I am not I, though hard, not he or she. They are not they, Evelyn Hart. So what is happening? I, I love that picture. I've seen that picture before. In spite of what the graduation speakers say every spring, our town's pretty average. It goes for our seats too. Out of this class of 40, just because it is average, two of these boys and girls will spend some part of their lives in a mental institution. <laughs> Hell, Jesus Christ! Oh my God, that that scared the the hell out of me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I was not expecting that. I was like, well, this seems pretty soft. Uh, like they're trying to explain us uh, how this works, and then boom. Uh, let's continue, I guess. Maybe I'm just gonna check the first part, and then if you guys want me to do the other parts, I'll just do a, a video about this website, an online experiment. It's not the cursed website. This was created by someone. Okay, okay, it was created by someone. We know that. But try to to jump scare me again, bitch. So another website we're gonna see is called Joy of Satan and it's basically for those who adore Satan. Okay, barely I can just read this first part. Uh, there are different sects of Satanism. Satanism is not a cre Christian invention. Satanism protects Christia Christianity uh, and all other re religions. Satanism is not about spooks, goblins, vampires, Halloween monsters, or other relatable enti uh, entities. Satan Satanism is not about evil. Satanism is not a re reaction to cre Christianity. Uh, Satanism is not about death. True sa Satanism is about elevating and empowering humanity, which was our true creator, Satan's intention. We know Satan Lucifer was a real being. We know Satan to be the true father and creator god of humanity. We know Jehovah of the Bible to be fictitious entity and the people behind coercing this lie to be the true deceivers of humanity and the masters of lies. We are law abiding. It's basically only text. It talks about Satanism uh, and the art of Satanism. In, in the past I've read so, some things that Satanism could be better than Christianity. But I'm not really the person to speak about that. So we're gonna go to the next website because this one is not so scary. But darkness is like turned inside out. Bell's boob said, said that. I heard it. Whatever. Let's go. The next and final website today is Staggering Beauty. Uh, I heard a lot about this one and I'm not sure if I ever uh, went here. So basically it's this... Kind of, of uh, flap the um, beast dick uh, penis who follows your mouse around. 
and uh, shake it vigorously. So if you have, yeah, I mean, by the way, if you have epilepsy, don't watch this video. Just stay away from from it, please. I'm just telling you now this. I don't know if if he's gonna stop doing that. And he says that you see warning contains flashing images. It's basically it's basically this. It, that there's no song. That's no nothing. It's just it's just image of of uh, of a uh, uh, flip flop, uh, uh, something that you can flip. Okay, probably I should just stop saying this. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. If you shake it, it's gonna have a stroke, I guess. This is me when I'm alone. And this is me when I open my tab of Pornhub. I mean, that's my dick, though. Uh, so guys, that was it for five websites that you shouldn't visit. I actually have a Discord chat, so you can go there and post videos for me to react or some websites but tell me what you thought about these websites or if you want to visit them i visit them for you so you don't have to worry so yeah give it a thumbs up to this video subscribe to become a bro today we see each other in our next episode so guys stay goody goody bye